You're watching ZTV. Okay, I'm going to try again, and hopefully this will work. Um, but what I was saying was that in in 2000, no, in, in April of 2015, we went to the Grow Your Dreams conference in Virginia Beach, Virginia, and Apostle Marlon Willingham was prophesying over me and he was saying that the Lord's going to open up your platform for you. It's all going to start in six months. That would be middle of October, 2015. And then, so I've been in this five weeks of warfare, like seriously, five solid weeks like to the day it was exactly five weeks and you know the lord loves numbers and the way he works with numbers and if you start to pay attention to the lord's timing and stuff like that you'll start to notice how he does numbers and everything so um what what happened was um i was in the season of warfare i've been keeping in contact with my mentor because that's how you do it you know so you stay on the right track and so you know because your mentor can hear things from the lord that you don't necessarily hear it's always good to get a different perspective you have to have counselors proverbs says that over and over and over again that you need to be um, you know, with the multitude of counselors, your plans are successful. Okay, so, and if you need a mentor, you can hire me. Go to zselfsproblems.com and book a um, package or schedule a call, and I'll help you out there. But anyway, so I'm online, and I'm typing out 35 days, you know, exactly 35 days of warfare. 30 is the number of, of maturity, and Jesus has launched to ministry. And number five is the number of grace and number of works. They stand for other things, but like those things were really applied to what is going on in my life right now. So I was writing that out. As soon as I wrote that out, the spirit of prophecy came on me, and the Lord released this prophecy. So I'm going to. I'm going to read it to you, but I was saying, um, about prophecy, prophetic words, you can grab prophetic words that are spoken to other people for yourself, you know, but you still have to participate with the Lord. You don't just get to have them just because you say, Ooh, I want that too. You have to do something. And I wrote that when I was posting what the Lord spoke to me in the moment, you know, that's what the spirit of prophecy does in the moment he showed up. And so the word says, and I also said it's to whosoever will endure 35 days of pressing. If you're not willing to go through 35 days of warfare that I just came out of, then don't try to grab a hold of this prophetic word because it's not for you. You're not going to be able to make it. Okay, so it's, he said, daughter, my pink rose. That's the nickname he has for me. And if you don't know how to get the nickname that dad has for you, go to payhip dot com forward slash miss banks right now and get the spiritual growth course called adopted god will speak your nickname to you and explain all that stuff to you how he feels for you the dreams he has for you all that stuff he'll lay that out for you but you need to learn how to do that for him it doesn't just happen if it did it would happen to everybody right we actually have to do stuff to grow in intimacy with the lord and the bible talks about that the whole way jesus himself said i speak in parables because those who are close to me there they receive the secrets of the kingdom those who are not in deep committed relationship with me they don't they just have to wonder what I'm talking about. Okay. So you don't want to be those people, one of those people who's out there wondering what's going on with the Lord. You need to know what he's doing. You know, you, your relationship's not going to be the same as anybody else's, but you can get as close to him as you want to get to him. So this is the prophecy that he spoke to me today. And he said, daughter, my pink rose, I've seen you struggle and toil so that you could come forth as gold and be the mouthpiece I've anointed and ordained for you to be in this season. Take up your cross and follow me for it's in being like me that you get the final reward. I've anointed you. I've touched your feet. Walk in light fires as you go. Roar with the thunder of the lion and those who come running are those who are ready to receive the word of the Lord. Okay, so this is an interesting prophecy because he said roar with the thunder of the lion and those who come running are, are those who are ready to receive the word of the Lord. If you know who prophet Kent Simpson is, he's in Texas. He spoke a prophecy over me in 2013, I think. And he was saying that um, this, the spirit of the Lord is in you like the roar of a lion. And as your voice goes forward, it's going to beat like a drum. It's going to call people from near and far to receive the word of the Lord. So that was awesome that the Lord spoke that portion because they tie in those two prophetic words tie in and that just goes to show you the season that i'm in because that portion that the lord spoke it has to do with the portion that was spoken two years ago you know so that is a great thing so that that prophecy that prophet kent simpson spoke over me two two years ago starting to come to pass now and the lord's confirming those things over and over again and then i was also telling you that my mentor sent me like a week and a half ago this a prophetic word and the first thing he said was that your influence is the lord's going to increase your influence first which makes sense because he has to widen my sphere before you know the platform really gets built more people have to know who i am see me things like that hear me teach the word and stuff like that before they you know are going to get 
interested and offered to bring me to speak and stuff like that. So all of this stuff is happening. It's happening in the midst of warfare, but you don't always notice those wonderful things that the Lord is doing in the middle of the warfare because the warfare is so ridiculous, you know, but, um, I was saying in the, before I got cut off that I was invited to go and be in a commercial last week and it airs tomorrow, you know, so it'll be on YouTube and the commercial goes around and stuff like that. That all has to do with the Lord increasing my influence. And then I was invited out of town the week before last to go and, and be a representative of someone, you know, that's all increasing influence. And then I have a thing that I'm going to on Friday. That's all increasing influence. That's all getting me out there. Last Friday, I went to a networking thing too. And those are things that I don't normally go to because I'm, you know, awkward and I don't usually get out in front of people and I'm mingling and stuff like that, but I'm learning how to do all of that. And it's like, just all of a sudden, because I'm in the right timing with the Lord. And that's like one of my main underlying points is being in the Lord's timing is that like, I'm learning how to move and all of those things. And the Lord's downloading those supernatural strategies for me so that I know how to maneuver in those situations. That's one of the things I love about working with the Lord. You know, I talked about this in other broadcasts that people are always saying, oh, well, if it's the Lord's will and the Lord works in mysterious ways, stop saying stuff like that. He, that's not true. He only works in mysterious ways when you're not in communion with him and you're not hearing from him and not receiving instruction from him. If you're sitting at his feet and listening from him, you're going to know what's going on. You know, especially things that apply to you. He may not tell you what everybody else has going on, but he's definitely going to tell you what's going on in your life and the information that you leave, need for your life. And sometimes you'll get a prophetic word. Like you may not always understand what a prophetic word means. Like I've given a prophetic word to somebody before and the Lord was like asking them a question. What are you doing right now? You know, the reason the Lord asks you questions is because he's wanting you to think about what you're doing and pay attention and see if there are any instructions that he's given you or something that you know you're supposed to be doing that you're not doing or something that you are doing that you're not supposed to be doing to get you to stop. You know, but you have to think and stuff like that. And then you move forward from that. But anyway, lots of good stuff going on. I, the Lord gave me the word, um, um, last, I think it was Friday or Saturday. I don't even know when it was Friday or Saturday. It was Friday or Saturday. And he was like, come Tuesday, your warfare is ended and you're going to turn the corner and by dog, if it didn't happen today, let me tell you, he is so faithful. He is so awesome. He is so wonderful. And it was good because he knows the Lord knows our threshold. And he knew that I was at that breaking point. And it was like, you know, you start thinking about doing crazy stuff after a little while, but he came through for me today, just like he said he would. And then I got a confirmation on Sunday, Tuesday, it's going to be Tuesday. Your breakthrough is going to come on Tuesday. And it came. So I just love the Lord. I praise the Lord. I hope to encourage you that if you're in some warfare, you know, just stick with him, stick with him, stick with him. And let me tell you, don't think that I wasn't acting the fool during my five weeks. Let me tell you, I, I last, whatever day I did the, the, um, grow your dreams calls nine, nine. I did it specifically on that day because that was, um, double harvest nine and nine, but I had to repent and apologize and confess my sin and all that stuff because I was grumbling and complaining in the middle of my warfare. You know, I know better than that, but at the same time, like you're in the middle of that stuff and everything's going wrong and everything's falling apart and it just is ugly. And sometimes, and you know, I was even fussing about, Lord, well, if I was married, I wouldn't be going there. That has absolutely nothing to do with the warfare I was in at all. Like it would have probably been even worse because I would have been bickering with, you know, in the household with somebody as opposed to just being able to, you know, be grumpy just to the Lord by myself and not to other people and stuff like that. So just know that you can get through warfare. Breakthrough is good. You should be pushing for breakthrough. Don't let the enemy stop you. Don't let them take you off that path of your destiny, wherever you're going. You just keep going. You get with the Lord. You get those words. You hang on to those words. You don't let them go and you receive everything that he has for you. All right. ZWritesWords.org. I've got some great resources over there for you right now. For $5, my latest spiritual growth teaching is called um, Unlocking Your Future. I got a new, um, this gold mantle placed on me over the weekend when I was praying and celebrating for um, the new biblical year 5776 and so I'm releasing that information that I received about unlocking your future in that teaching is going to be good it's going to be lots of prayer lots of worship it's going to show you how to unlock your future and it's so funny I was reading Twitter earlier today and somebody was like Lord give me an inkling a glimpse of my purpose because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing okay well if that's you if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing you need to get that teaching that's called unlocking your future you're going to get put on the path you're going to get put in God's timing for right now and there's um, like a lot of stuff that I always say this you know because I lived stupidly for a long time that you know there's stuff that we we just always we don't do stuff. We don't get stuff from the Lord because we don't know how to access it. And it has nothing to do with him not releasing it to us. The Lord shows me all the time, like, 
you know, stuff like he'll release stuff from heaven. I can see it in visions and dreams and stuff like that being released from heaven. But there are things that stand in the way of you actually taking hold of what's supposed to come to you. You know, that's not our life. It's not like we're asking Lord for things and he's not giving them. That's garbage. You know, that's a lie of the enemy that the enemy tries to get believers to ask that we have to like, it's going to take two years and going to take 10 years and going to take 13 years for all this stuff to happen. No, it's not. Nine times out of 10, it depends on us knowing what to do and then actually putting in the work to get it done. You know, I'm somebody who I invest time in my prayer closet, you know, like I don't even know anybody else. I know there are other people out there who pray like I do, but I don't personally know anybody else who prays like I pray. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, I spend hours in there getting things done. And that same thing can happen for you if you're willing to put in the time. You know, I always say I have a special life where I can work at home and do all this stuff. Everybody doesn't have that luxury. But hey, when I needed to give up sleep for, you know, for a 100 days of my life to be praying from 3 to 6 a.m., I was willing to do that to get what I wanted. Are you willing to do that? You know, sometimes it's like that. You got to give up sleep for 50 days straight to get some kind of breakthrough. Get your breakthrough. You know, you can't blame or be mad about what anybody else has or the power they have, the anointing they're walking in if you're not willing to do what they did. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, go to payhip.com forward slash Ms. Banks. The Healing Soul Wounds course is up there. Remember, the word says, beloved, I want you to be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers. So if you're not prospering in any area of your life, whether it be your health, your relationships, your family, your business, whatever, you've got something in your soul that's blocking you from receiving. Or either you have a lack of knowledge for something that you're believing for, something that the Lord said that you can have. So you need to do what needs to be done to get all of those promises to be manifesting in your life. I'm telling you, I'm greedy like that. I want every promise that God said I can have, and I'm going to get it. All right, take care. God bless you.